What is up everybody? It is Lawrence and it's been a while since I have produced a video and this is actually a really odd video to produce at the end of summer instead of at the beginning of summer. But it's because I've actually been in Mexico for the last three weeks, a little over three weeks at this point. And uh, I will be spending at least another week here uh, thinking of potentially extending my trip for another week or so. I have been working from home, so it's not like a huge difference in terms of lifestyle, but it has been really, really cool to get out of the country, experience Mexico, and really honestly become at least a local for, for you know, a little more than just a week or two, which is amazing. And I feel like I'm part of the Mexican culture at this point. With that said, I barely worn sneakers in any way, shape, or form. And on top of that, I've been trying to buy sneakers even though I'm not in the States to receive them. And I've basically struck out for the last month, day in, day out. There has not been a single thing that I've been able to buy, but I have one shoe that has been with me for these last three weeks that I wear day in, day out. I just constantly want to slip my foot into there. And that is the Birkenstock Arizona EVA. So I've done a review on the regular Birkenstock, which is made out of cork in the midsole and typically some type of either synthetic leather uh, or leather or suede. And it's a much more premium shoe than the EVA version. And the pricing for this shows it's only $45 for a relatively really, really, really well-built slide. Uh, to put that into comparison, most of the Nike and or Adidas slides are between $25 and $35. So this is not too far off. And I think the quality that you're getting uh, is significantly better. With that said, let's start with the upper like we always do, uh, since it's a pretty minimal upper, uh, almost as if it was not there. The uh, This should be relatively quick, and then we'll go into the midsole. So the upper is relatively simple. It's made out of EVA. The entire thing is EVA, which is super important. Uh, it, it's, almost, it's definitely one piece uh, across the board. And so you can see that even though it looks like several pieces, it's not, it's not, it's not. So that is a one piece booty construction type of thing across the entire slide. So why this is important is I think it is going to increase durability. I can't be sure it's only been three weeks, uh, but because it's all one piece, I do not think that you're gonna have those slight tears that people typically get on slides, which I feel like is super important. Second thing to note on the upper is they do have uh, two Birkenstock buckles over here. And this is, like I said, the Arizona variety. Uh, there are other ones that are that are basically slip-ons that are, that are thongs and things like that. But this is the most prototypical type of Birkenstock. What's important is that these buckles are not metal. Most of the real ones or the, the more traditional Birkenstocks are metal and, and, and or leather, which makes them not waterproof. And it's really, really hard to go into the water or anything with Birkenstocks if you're not just walking around uh, because they're not waterproof. And this, with the plastic as well as EVA setup, go into the water very easily. They constantly get wet, they get dry really easily. Not a big deal, have not had any issues. I've dipped my toes into the pools, I've dipped my toes into, into the ocean, I've walked around in rain, it's been phenomenal. Finally, going to the uh, midsole as well as outsole. The midsole looks like it has some type of quirky structure to it, but it's not. Uh, it just it just honestly imprinted that way to look like a Birkenstock cork midsole. Uh, it is made out of the EVA, but it has the same anatomical or very similar anatomical uh, um, footbed. And so there are divots uh, on the shoe itself. You can see that over here. In addition to that, the very front has that same divot that you would get in the cork midsole. These are obviously super, super important things to note. Uh, as you're trying to buy the shoe because one of the main reasons why you buy a Birkenstock over other things is for the anatomical footbed. Uh, it's one of the main reasons why I have Birkenstocks and honestly love this pair so much. What is also important about the footbed is when I first put it on, I honestly thought it was a, a comfortable shoe, but not a great shoe. Then after I wore it for two to three times, it conformed my foot. And so now when I slide my foot in, it basically feels like the entire midsole uh, and sole area completely conformed to my feet and it feels amazing. If you do end up buying a pair, definitely check out the affiliate links below if you're interested. The other thing about the upper is there is also a Birkenstock logo on the medial side that you can see right there. Then going to the outsole, you also have the same kind of patterning as your typical rubber outsole on the cork version. So it looks exactly the same, but it is made out of the same EVA. So what are my thoughts on the Birkenstock Arizona EVA? Very simply, this is one of the best shoes I've bought in 2020. I know it sounds ridiculous for a sneaker channel for someone to be saying that, but 
I've lived in these for three plus weeks. I've walked in them pretty much everywhere. There's very little downside to buying the sandal. They're comfortable, they're waterproof, they are they have great traction. Everything about them is phenomenal. And the price point is really, really good for a product that is not, that is typically almost like double the price. I may never buy a cork-based Birkenstock ever again, except for fashion reasons. Uh, and I don't think I would buy, buy the Arizona, I would buy something else. And so that's how much this has changed me. I don't feel like there's a point in buying the $120 leather version of this when you can get this one for $45. I definitely do not think the durability is the same. I've had my, my Arizona pair with leather and cork for about almost four and a half, five years. Uh, this is already showing pretty heavy wears, of, of, of heavy sign of wear. Um, all throughout, but I still think this is going to last at least another summer season. Uh, we'll see where that goes, but for the most part, I have no issues with that. I'm paying $45 compared to $120 plus dollars, and uh, buying three pairs of these is not an issue if these are going to last me every single two years. And I think these are a little more comfortable and versatile. Other thing I want to note is I bought the black pair. Uh, the reason I bought the black pair is it kind of looks like leather all around, and so what's great about that is when you're in tropical environments, you know, you want, obviously want something you can go to the beach with, you can go to the pool with, but finding something you can wear to transition into nighttime is really, really cool. And from this far away, this pair looked like leather. And because of that, you can wear this with a nicer tropical beachy outfit and have this kind of really kind of round out. The, uh, the, the nighttime aesthetic with this black pair. There are other colors like olive and white, but I, I just really, really gravitated towards, towards this black pair because of aesthetic reasons uh, and honestly the versatility of wearing the, uh, the black version that kind of looks like leather anywhere that I go. In terms of sizing, I went with a size 40 and that translates to a US size seven. So 40 is a European sizing. And for the most part, my experience with most German-based brands, so think Adidas and Puma, as well as Birkenstock, size 40 is typically the size I need to go with, and that is my true to size in those brands. But for the most part, if you've had a chance to either wear a Birkenstock and own an Arizona, I would go with that same exact size as these fit exactly the same as my other ones. Uh, if not, you can definitely try these on in some store close to you. Birkenstocks are pretty much available everywhere. And that's it, guys. If you have any questions about the Birkenstock Arizona EVA. Leave that in the comments below. If you have a pair and love yours, definitely give me a thumbs up as well as a like and a subscribe. Until next time, that's Arizona Birkenstock EVA. Peace.